Half of New Jersey remains in the dark tonight, but that's an improvement in the past 24 hours as utility crews work to restore electricity across 16 states. 6.2 million customers have no power, according to the latest data from the U.S. Department of Energy. That's down from more than 8 million without electricity last night. In addition to New Jersey, more than 1 in 10 customers in Connecticut, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and West Virginia have no power. Three nuclear power plants in the Northeast remain offline tonight, with two others operating at reduced generating capacity. Lewis Hay is the executive chairman of the board at Next Era Energy, the parent company of Florida Power and Light. He joins us from Jupiter, Florida. Uh, Lou, what are your colleagues up north facing? Uh, Tom, they're facing unprecedented uh, damage and really an unprecedented restoration process with a storm that covers so many states and has done uh, so much damage uh, as everybody's seeing on TV. Uh, they have uh, many, many lines down, poles down, transformers damaged, uh, some substations that are uh, un, you know, underwater that mm -hmm. have to get dried out, uh, equipment vaults that are flooded. Uh, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. How does an industry, how does a CEO, and you've been in this position before, how do you begin to prioritize all of that work? Uh, actually, the priority is pretty well established before the storm even hits. Uh, every utility works with its state emergency operating center and develops a priority list. Uh, typically, uh, the way it works is critical infrastructure customers uh, get their power back first. And critical infrastructure customers would be things like uh, police stations, hospitals, nursing homes, fire departments, uh, you know, people who deal with the public safety and uh, public health. After that, uh, the focus then uh, is on what work can be done that gets the most number of customers back the fastest. You've been talking with your colleagues and uh, even on a conference call with the president yesterday. What did you learn about the situation and the role that the federal government's playing? You know, people are facing a, a pretty tough situation, but uh, you know, I want to assure you that uh, all these utilities, they're very professional, they know what they're doing, they have the equipment, they have the supplies, and in fact, as an industry, we all help one another out. Uh, virtually every single investor-owned utility across the, the continental United States has sent extra linemen and vegetation crews to help uh, restore uh, people's power. Uh, you're right, we did talk with the president yesterday. Um, he uh, spent about 40 minutes on the phone with all the CEOs. Uh, he's very engaged in this. Uh, he's wanting to help. Uh, he knows that it takes professional uh, and trained linemen to restore the power, but he also knows that the government has a lot of resources they can uh, provide to help clear the way, and that would mean clearing streets of debris so crews can get to, uh, you know, get to the job sites or helping to facilitate crews that are coming from across the country to, 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 to get to the affected area sooner, things of that sort.